Good morning, distance learners. So today is Friday, May the 8th, 2020. And let's take a look at what you guys are going to be working on today. So in religion, you are working on chapter 30, the coming of the Holy Spirit. Remember that Jesus spent 40 days on the earth after he rose from the dead. And then when he ascended back up into heaven, he sent his special helper called the Holy Spirit. So for today, you guys are going to be doing activity book pages 119, 120, and 121. Yes, it's three pages, but there's not a whole lot to do, okay? So remember that when the Holy Spirit came, that was a special day, a special holiday that we celebrate in the church called Pentecost. And you're going to color the picture of Pentecost. I want a nice colored picture, guys. No scribbling. You can look back in your book and kind of think about it. Remember that dove is representing the Holy Spirit. There's the flames resting on each of their heads. And these are his apostles. Okay, that's 119. For page 120, you have a word search to do. And then finish up with page 121, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit who came to the apostles is the third person of the Blessed Trinity. The Holy Spirit came to us at baptism. We're going to be talking more about baptism and the other sacraments next week. He helps us to pray and to love. He gives us the grace to win the fight against sin. He helps us to understand the things we learn about God. He will come to us in a special way when we are confirmed. So at baptism, this is a picture showing that, when we are initiated into the church through baptism, the Holy Spirit comes to us. Okay, so that's your religion for today. For spelling, you're going to log into SpellingCity.com. You're going to take your Unit 14 Week 1 test. Okay, please make sure it's the test, guys, and not the activities. Some of you guys are not taking the test, okay? So you have zero on it from last week. I'm going to have to reload that test for you. So make sure it's the actual test, okay? For reading, you're going to finish up Chapter 27. It's called Enjoy the Cookie. Remember that the kids are writing persuasive essays or paragraphs on their favorite food, what they think is the best food. So Sal is a little down in the dumps because he's having trouble playing um, baseball. And then he's working with Edabeda. And remember that Edabeda is kind of talking to him about how he really isn't doing his best work. And so he's thinking, I can't do anything right. So today, Edabetta tells him to enjoy the cookie. So you need to think about what the problem is in the story. What's the problem that Sal's having? Okay. And what was Edabetta's solution? All right. Okay. Once you finish reading that and doing that, go back and review the rest of those stories. And then you need to take work, you need to complete workbook page 67. All right, page 67. It's all about the stories this week. Okay, please put your name and date because you're going to be ripping this out to turn into me. All right, for math. You're going to work on your three-digit addition. Yesterday we worked on it um, without any regrouping. So today we're actually going to start regrouping. We're just going to be regrouping our ones into tens, which you should be used to doing from our two-digit addition, okay? So that's lesson 8-3, and I will have a, a separate lesson on that, a video, so that you guys can watch that and see. For science... For science, you're going to be observing your plant and recording those observations in your plant observation journal, okay? So you're going to get your plant, you're going to look at it, see if it started to grow yet, and then we'll observe it, and I'll tell you what day to write. We'll have a separate video on this, and I'll walk you guys through what it should look like. For social studies, we're still working on that economics unit. You have two little books in the front pocket. Actually, they're not books yet, but 
They're in the front pocket, and this is what we're going to be working on today in social studies. Sorry, guys, mine are stuck together. Okay, so you're going to pull these two papers out. One of them is called apple pie, and the other one is called restaurant. So it's where did this apple pie come from mini book and producers and consumers in a restaurant. And we'll have a separate video, and I'll show you how to fold those into a book, and we'll read those together. See if it can help you guys understand a little bit more about the economics, that study of money. Okay, and then your final thing that you're going to do is your Mother's Day activity, and you're going to be get decorating a card and writing a letter inside of it to your mom, thanking her for everything she does for you, letting her know how much you love and care about her. Okay, so this is your letter. All right. So just don't just start writing it. Um, I'm going to have a separate video on it to kind of walk you guys through it. But this is the letter you're going to do. You may want to do a rough draft on a piece of paper. Make sure it makes sense. Maybe let a brother, sister, or dad check it out before you write it to mom. Um, this is your pink piece of construction paper you got. And you'll decorate that. Like I said, I'm going to do a separate video to kind of show you what it should look like. Okay? All right, guys. Have a great day.